Hey everyone, and welcome to today's webcast, Beam Hyperavailability as a Service for Nutanix AHV, sponsored by TD Consulting and brought to you by Virtualization Cloud Review. I'm Abu Mukabo. I'd like to welcome you to today's webcast, but before we begin, just a few housekeeping reminders to start. We are recording today's show for future viewing purposes, and within 24 hours, we'll send you a link to the email you registered with where you can find the replay. Keep an eye out for that, and feel free to share that with others who may be interested. We'll also be having a Q&A session at the end of today's program. We do encourage you, however, to ensure to enter your questions at any point using the Ask a Question box. We'll get to as many questions as time permits, but please don't be shy. Also, don't forget to check the resource tab in your doc for any materials associated with this show. I'd like to introduce today's speakers. We have Jake Martinisic, who is ISR Cloud and Service Providers for Veeam. Joining Jake, we also have Tommy Gustavuson, Technology Alliance Manager at Nutanix. And finally, we have Steve Walker, Director of Sales and Marketing at TBC Consulting. Excuse me, TB Consulting. Thanks so much for joining us, guys, and please take it away, Jake. Thank you, Abum. Again, Jake Martinsig, ISR Cloud and Service Providers here at Veeam Software. I'm covering for Chris Davis, who you see on slide number one. So, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, Veeam's plugin with Nutanix AHV. Um, so we'll just get into it here. Uh, this is just a brief overview of Veeam, kind of what we're doing right now, and how we want to be positioned in the marketplace. Uh, so we are delivering on this vision with Veeam Hyper Availability, availability Platform. It's the most complete solution to help customers on the journey to intelligent data management in a hyper-available enterprise. The Veeam Hyper Availability Platform automates the provisioning and management of massive constant flow of data running across multi-cloud infrastructures. Uh, organizations that run on the Veeam Platform gain multifold improvements in efficiencies and far greater agility to respond to any business needs and deliver new digital services that improve how we live and work. Veeam Hyper Availability Solutions receive the highest customer satisfaction scores in the industry, uh, which is about three and a half times the industry average. Uh, for their ease of use, elegant simplicity, reliability, and storage and cloud agnostic approach. The Veeam, as hundreds of customers have said, it just works. So we are growing out of the rest of the market in a significant way and due to several factors. So we're, we're constantly putting customers first. The Veeam is 100% focused on customer success. This is evident in everything we do and feedback from customers that prove that. Take our plus 73 NPS score. So this is a three and a half times the industry average, as I mentioned, and puts us on par with some of the biggest brands in the world, such as Apple. Just to give you uh, some insight, as some of our competitors are somewhere around the 23 mark. So uh, you don't secure an NPS score like that unless you're exceeding customer ex expectations at every step. But we've invested heavily in nurturing and attracting the right talent across all areas of our business to ensure that our customer experience is beyond compare, which talks to why we have over 300,000 customers and growing. 75% of the Fortune 500 trust Veeam, and we have the highest renewal rates in the industry. Delivering a great product that continually gets better, and customers that love our focus on developing a product that is powerful, simple to deploy, meets today's and tomorrow's business needs. We listen to your feedback at every step of uh, the R&D process, which is why we're continually evolving our solution and bringing elements to the market as fast as we can to meet your business goals. We must be doing something right to have more than 17 million VMs under our protection. So we hear more from our team this week about new innovations coming to market, but, but our focus is on delivering a platform that evolves as your needs evolve, and one that scales to meet needs of the hyper-available enterprise. Significant momentum in all business segments uh, it's what we have right now. So 2017 was a record year. We surpassed our stretch goal to secure 827 million in bookings an annual increase of more than 30%, and we've been doing that year over year. Uh, we achieve this by growing in all areas of the market with an evolving partner network and ecosystem, and we accelerated our resale agreements with HPE, Cisco, NetApp, Nutanix, obviously, and each has proven successful in expanding Veeam's reach. So, so here's a 
few of our customers. Uh, I want to go over just a couple of success stories here to give you an idea of how we're helping uh, customers that you're working with. Uh, so we'll take uh, Mercedes-Benz Turk as example A. It's established in Istanbul with Daimler-Benz AG's joint ownership, started bus manufacturing in 1968. Today, the company performs the importation and sale of passenger car brands of uh, the Daimler group, group as well as Mercedes-Benz vans. Additionally, Mercedes-Benz Turk also conducts sales of exclusively locally uh, manufactured bus and truck models on the domestic and export markets. With a total investment of over $1 billion, Mercedes-Benz Turk represents one of the largest foreign investments in Turkey and employs more than 6,000 personnel. Uh, furthermore, 5,000 people are employed within the dealer and after-sales service network. So the challenge that they were having before using Veeam, the recovery process and tests required substantial time and manpower. All systems were under risk in terms of data recovery due to long processes. Uh, the result, after implementing Veeam, they were able to deliver 24-7, 365 data center service availability. Backup and recovery costs decreased remarkably backup and recovery time is reduced to minutes. The example B, a company is Telefonica Germany, GmbH. Uh, they operate the largest mobile phone network in Germany. So they were established in 1995 and headquartered in Munich. Uh, Telefonica Germany also provides broadband and landline telecommunications. And the company, company employs 1,200 people. So the challenge they were having is they're on their way to becoming the country's leading digital telecommunication provider, but first must be certain that the customers have the best network experience possible. The backup and recovery of the network's management systems were unreliable and slow, placing network availability at risk. So what they gained using Veeam, they were able to help guarantee network availability 24-7, uh, support business growth strategies, and improve business processes. Example C, and the final example I'll give you is Scania Great Britain Limited. It's part of the Scania Group, which was founded in Sweden in 1891 and had become the leading manufacturer of trucks, buses, engines. Uh, Scania Great Britain supports sales and service through approximately 100 dealer locations across the United Kingdom. So their challenge as uh, Scania Great Britain was concerned about business continuity because time-sensitive VM recovery required key systems to be offline. DR testing was also time sensitive. Third party consultants had to be on site to restore applications quickly. So after putting Veeam in place, they gained peace of mind, automatic verification and recovery points, uh, they gained ease of use, no more troubleshooting failed backups and replicas, and they were now flexible. So fast, frequent backup and replications from NetApp storage snapshots. So now you have an idea on what Veeam is and our background and where we're at in the market today. What's coming and is actually here uh, is the Veeam's integration with Nutanix AHV. So in addition to VMware and Hyper-V, Veeam is now supporting all applications and data hosted on AHV with Veeam availability for Nutanix AHV. In an effort to streamline the user experience, Veeam's designed the web UI to look like Prism, uh, so partners and customers won't need to adjust to a brand new interface. We want to just make things as easy as possible uh, for customers moving over from Prism using Veeam. How we wanted to do it is help Users manage the backup proxy appliance and connections to components in the Veeam backup infrastructure. So able to create, configure, schedule, and run backup jobs from Nutanix AHV VMs, restore entire VMs back to AHV clusters. We also wanted to give access dashboards for a complete visibility of pr protection, job, repository, and backup server status, as well as event logs. Another aspect is the goal was to provide a true backup from VM snapshots without the need for agents. By doing it this way, we're able to provide fast, efficient backups more frequently, resulting in an incredibly low RPO. The main features there is we're able to help manage data loss is by managing the protection of AHV VM groups in a single policy setting through tight integration with protection domains. So performing scheduled and 
on-demand, agentless backups from Nutanix snapshots for frequent, fast backups, minimal impact to the production environment, and achieving application consistency through Nutanix guest tools integrations for backup of applications and VMs running on AHV. Typical Veeam fashion, we focused on the restore capabilities here uh, to give users multiple options so they can keep their RTOs as low as possible, range from application items, individual files, to entire VMs. We're able to ex execute seamless full VM restores back to Nutanix cluster, as well as VM disk restores in the event of disk corruption. We're able to perform granular VM data and application item restores via VM explorers for AV, Exchange, SharePoint, SQL Service, and Oracle. The same stuff that we've been doing in all of our, our backup products for the last couple years. And directly restore Nutanix AHV VM backup to Microsoft Azure is ideal for leveraging the public cloud for troubleshooting and test dev. And the Veeam backup and replication in integration will allow you to get AHV backups off-site quickly and securely without needing to maintain an off-site infrastructure for Veeam Cloud Connect. Helps you achieve flexible long-term retention for AHV backups with native tape support for both automated tape libraries and standalone tape drives. And you can leverage your storage investments and unlimited scale-out backup repository, a single scale-out backup repository from a collection of heterogeneous storage. At the end of the day, we want to provide users hyper-availability for all applications and data, an enterprise-class web scale architecture, and operational simplicity. So that sums it up on the Veeam Nutanix integration as a high-level overview, and I will pass it over to Tommy. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jake. Thanks to all the attendees who are here with us today. And, you know, Veeam is certainly one of the most exciting companies in the industry, and we're very proud of our alliance partnership with Veeam. Uh, I'm going to talk to you folks about Nutanix, who we are, where we've come from, um, what our core product and platform offering is, and then some of the newer features and newer uh, value that we're bringing to the table with some of our most recent acquisitions and products we've developed in-house for you all. So for those of you who don't know Nutanix, uh, we were started and we were founded in 2009, and we started selling products in 2011. So over the past seven to eight years, we've garnered over 10,000 customers in almost every country throughout the world. And our goal is really to make data center infrastructure and now clouds invisible, abstracting away complexity and elevating IT to focus on applications and services that bring value back to their business. Now, the way that we like to frame the conversation when talking about Nutanix's value proposition is this. Public cloud today has really reset the expectations that IT has for the services and products they consume in the sense that with AWS, you can swipe a credit card and get, in, get access to infrastructure within minutes. That's rapid time to market and rapid time to value. There's also fractional consumption and dynamic scalability in the sense that you can pay as you grow using only what you need when you need it for specific applications or use cases. The other aspect of the cloud is one-click operations, uh, very simplistic, one-click, point-and-click type operations um, where folks are no longer spending time on infrastructure management putting out fires with LUNs and RAID groups and spending a lot of time in the mundane aspects of storage and infrastructure management. With the cloud, the infrastructure is truly invisible. And then the, the aspect that we really respect AWS and other cloud providers uh, for is their continuous innovation in the sense that you continually get more updates, more value, and faster delivery of new features from these cloud providers on a regular basis. And that's something we try to do at Nutanix as well. So keeping those considerations in mind, um, our vision, uh, our founder's vision for Nutanix is this. It's based on the idea that the data center really needs a reboot in order to 
succeed in a cloud-first and obviously virtualization-first world that we live in. So from a software perspective, we knew that we needed to build a full-stack solution from the ground up that's software-defined. One of our co-founders, Mohit Aron, went off to found another company uh, in the secondary storage space. But he was the lead architect at Google File System before helping to found Nutanix. And so a lot of the DNA of our product and architecture comes from Google and from web scale technology that companies like Google, Facebook, Yahoo, and AWS use in-house in their own infrastructure. So our platform is hardware agnostic, and once it's racked, stacked, and cabled, it's ready to deploy in minutes. And we also support a full technology ecosystem with industry leaders like Veeam who continue to help augment our solution and provide joint offerings that are really a one plus one equals three equation for customers. Nutanix also has an app-centric design in principle. We want to be able to run any application at any scale. We want our customers to be able to automate workload management and automate a lot of the orchestration and deployment of applications, not only in their private, private on-prem cloud environment, but into the public cloud as well. So we're going to take a look at some of the hybrid cloud features in a moment here. We also deliver native platform services in several types of storage offerings, such as file storage, object storage, and other capabilities that are native to Nutanix and unique to us in the industry. And our end goal, folks, really is to decouple the applications from the infrastructure, whether you're containerizing them, virtualizing them, mobilizing those apps across clouds. We're here to help you with that journey, and we believe our platform is well-suited for the multi-cloud era. So the basics of Nutanix, how did we replatform the enterprise data center that desperately needed a refresh? We uh, pioneered hyperconverged infrastructure. Many of you are probably familiar with hyperconverged infrastructure, or HCI for short. HCI is simply connecting compute and storage together, directly attaching storage on the server itself, virtualizing the storage controller removing hardware points of failure, and essentially making the system software-defined, highly scalable, and a turnkey building block for building your data center. So this is a scale-out platform in which the app is the first-class citizen. And then again, there's built-in compute storage, virtualization with our native hypervisor, networking, um, security, and management. So our platform is fully hardened. Under the hood, this is what our software architecture looks like uh, from a very basic high-level perspective. It's a scalable distributed file system that, again, shares much of the same DNA as the Google file system, it's completely software-defined, self-healing, and highly scalable. And for folks that really want to get a good look uh, in-depth at Nutanix's architecture, definitely check out the Nutanix Bible. You can just Google the Nutanix Bible, go to www.nutanixbible.com, and that gives you uh, a complete, very thorough look at every aspect of our software uh, architecture. But the sense is, virtualize the storage controller, remove the single points of failure in terms of hardware, and give yourself a highly scalable, dynamic, self-healing self system um, that self-replicates and then built-in enterprise-grade storage features, dedupe, compression, erasure coding, all of that good stuff for folks that are really into the storage side of things, a lot of other native features that we provide as well. Um, and then we rely on our ecosystem partners like Veeam to really deliver a full uh, backup data protection and replication um, uh, set. And then again, in terms of the enterprise storage features, we covered this. Uh, we also have things like metro availability, so you can have multiple clusters uh, with continuous availability uh, in different locations, async and near-sync replication, dedupe, uh, tunable resiliency from RF2, RF3, and then ECX is our erasure coding. Gives you a lot of value in terms of saving your storage. And then tons of security features. Uh, we also have native data at rest encryption with software, well, self-encrypting drives or software-based encryption with native key management as well. So what you have at the end of the day with this platform is a single platform for all of your applications and data, whether it's basic, you know, primary storage, file, object, and block storage, running any type of enterprise, enterprise application. As Jake mentioned, 
many of the Microsoft Enterprise applications, SAP, Oracle, Splunk on Nutanix is a great workload. Uh, in fact, NASDAQ is running Splunk on Nutanix. And you can also run containers and cloud native apps on our platform, which is really cool as well. So again, these are turnkey building blocks for your data center in which you can run pretty much any application and any type of data. So the cool thing to know about Nutanix is that you have the freedom to choose. Um, what's unique about us in the industry is we're not trying to lock you in to any singular platform, whether it's a hypervisor or a hardware or a cloud. So we support VMware, Hyper-V, Citrix Zen Server, and our own hypervisor is called Nutanix AHV. That's based on KVM, which is the same hypervisor that AWS uses for all of their compute. Um, so it's, it's very similar, again, in DNA to, to uh, AWS and Google. We also support hybrid cloud capabilities with AWS, with Azure, with Google Cloud, and we have native uh, cloud services through Xi, which is our multi-cloud suite or portfolio of multi-cloud products. In terms of hardware, you can run Nutanix on Supermicro, which is our Nutanix branded stuff. You can run Dell EMC, uh, Lenovo, which is another OEM, IBM. You can also run Nutanix on Cisco UCS and HP servers. So you have the freedom to choose which platform is best for you. Now, pulling it back, um, Nutanix you know, has oftentimes in the past been pigeonholed as just another storage player or just another HCI player. The reason that we've been a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant now for some time is the fact that we have the most forward-thinking, uh, we think, platform in the industry in terms of HCI. So the stuff at the bottom is everything we talked about, just the basics, HCI. Going up the stack, we have Flow, which is a networking product giving you SDN and some other security features. We have multi-hypervisor capabilities, including our native AHV, which we're so thankful that Veeam supports. We also have the buckets and files, objects and file storage that you can consolidate uh, and get rid of your NAS boxes. We also have Prism, which is our UI with Calm, which provides hybrid cloud application management, deployment and orchestration. Again, we support all of those cloud platforms. And recently, we acquired a company called Frame that now gives us the capability to give you, to give customers multi-browser, multi-cloud, uh, desktop and application delivery, DAS, desktop as a service, that you can run through partners uh, or in your own in-house. With multi-cloud management, customers can also manage their cloud spend and governance and security with Beam, and then do multi-cloud deployment and orchestration with Calm, and Epoch gives application performance monitoring. So definitely check out all those products if you guys have some time. Uh, taking a look at Prism, this is something we encourage all of you to try and download uh, with our community edition. This is our consumer-grade full-stack management. We like to say that Nutanix has enterprise uh, architecture from an, from an infrastructure perspective, but our design and our user experience is truly consumer-grade in the sense that managing your Nutanix environment is as simple as managing apps on your smartphone. We invest a lot into design and making sure that it's extremely simple and intuitive to use. Now, Nutanix Calm is a very cool product which allows you to do multi-cloud application lifecycle management, deployment, and orchestration. So through a construct called Blueprints, we abstract away all of the configuration and the complexity of deploying apps and give customers a one to two click uh, capability to deploy applications either on-prem into their Nutanix environment or off-prem into the public cloud into AWS or GCP with Azure support coming soon. Again, drilling down on AHV, Veeam is, has now supported AHV for some time, and we're really encouraging all customers to demo this. Um, there are some free trials in place that you folks can check out. Just reach out after the webinar, and we can help you with that. But AHV is designed to be a built-in high-performance hypervisor. It's secure enough for 75% of our customers in the federal government. Um, so it's hardened for security, and it's secure enough for most of the federal customers that we work with. And the cool thing about Nutanix AHV is that the license is included in our standard licensing. There's no additional cost just for the hypervisor alone. So customers that have moved away from other hypervisors onto Nutanix AHV are saving quite a bit of money on their virtualization spend. This is a report you folks can check out. Uh, I'd simply recommend Googling IDC Nutanix. 
you can dive into the details. A lot of great stats to look at if you're into that sort of thing as far as TCO, stuff on downtime, uh, return on investment, payback period, and so forth. Another one you guys can check out online is the Gartner Magic Quadrant. Again, Nutanix has been placed in the furthest uh, right and the rightmost and the utmost position, showcasing our leadership in hyperconverged infrastructure. We started and pioneered this market, and we think that we've continued to skate ahead of the puck, so to speak, and continue to lead the industry with new features, more value, and other services being delivered on top of our HCI platform. Some other stats, uh, we also think we're the best in the industry in terms of customer support, and our NPS, Net Promoter Score, truly validates that, as well as our customer satisfaction um, risk rates. So definitely search Nutanix support. Um, there's plenty of anecdotal evidence out there from other customers. We have a lot of customers who go on Reddit, whether it's Reddit, sysadmin, or other subreddits, and they talk about Nutanix support. Definitely encourage you folks to get involved in the community to get a, a true user's perspective on what that's like. Okay, so now the good stuff, folks. We absolutely love working with Veeam, which is the premier availability solution for Nutanix Enterprise Cloud. We really believe this is a one plus one equals three partnership where the customer benefits from us working together to create more value and deliver higher value solutions for all of you. Diving into the architecture of Veeam and Nutanix, uh, again, Nutanix has some native snapshot capabilities which would then connect to the Veeam virtual appliance, authenticated to the Veeam backup and replication server, backed up to the Veeam repository, and then you can also do things like item level restore, back up other copies, and as Jake mentioned, you can archive to different cloud sources and truly have hybrid cloud backup functionality, which is very simple to use. In the Nutanix is based on uh, protection domains. Our data protection uses uh, these domains so you can group different VMs uh, and apply different backup policies and backup jobs. So again, the Nutanix protection domain uh, would connect to the Veeam appliance, the snapshots, the backup job is completed, and then you have very high level um, RPO and RTO that enables you to restore more quickly uh, in case of any failure and avoid any type of data loss. We have a lot of resources out there on the web talking about Veeam and Nutanix. We would definitely encourage you folks to look at the best practices guides. Uh, some new, uh, new resources consulting as a customer case study. There's also a YouTube video uh, of that customer talking with us at Veeam On earlier this year. And then we also have some free trials, as mentioned, that we'd love for everyone to check out. Okay, so thank you so much for the time hearing about Nutanix and our amazing partnership with Veeam. Uh, we'd really encourage any Q&A from you, from you folks. Definitely type any questions you have in the chat window so we can address those uh, live and would love to follow up with you afterwards. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now I'll turn it back over to our host. Thank hey you guys. very much, Tommy. It looks like we have Steve ready to speak. Steve, you ready? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, right. this is Steve Walker. This is Steve Walker, um, Director of uh, um, Products and Services over here at uh, TB Consulting. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I won't I won't spend too much time talking about how awesome uh, you know partnering with Veeam and Nutanix. Um, but we we've been a partner of Nutanix for five plus years now. So we've, we've been an early adopter um, and, and have seen them grow and mature and are big believers in the platform. And as a, as a cloud service provider, it's really enabled us to deliver the tenants of cloud and the capabilities of the cloud uh, of, to our clients as they build their, their hybrid clouds and, and uh, go through that hybrid cloud journey. Um, and, and we're really excited about the partnership and capabilities that, that Veeam has brought to the table. Um, to deliver the, the backup capabilities that was really missing from, from the AHV solution. Um, so really, you know, to, to play on their uh, one plus one plus one, you know, we see with our capabilities and our experience, um, we can get to the number seven. So, so as we move through, um, you know, the, the maturity curve, 
And, you know, we look at our, you know, our typical um, IT decision maker as they think through moving to AHV um, and, and some of the, the roadblocks they face, it's really that how do I check all of the functionalities to, to get off of VMware and, and leverage the capabilities associated with um, Nutanix and that entire platform is how, how do I check the box of VR? How do I check the box of, of backup? And how do I find all of that functionality in, in one in one solution? Um, and that's really where we're excited about partnering with these two organizations and, and being able to deliver those capabilities uh, of having not only VR, but having backup and, and really mirroring those two technologies together. So, so with the capabilities that Nutanix has released, um, and in those protection domains, we're actually able to build um, and have built a DR solution where we can operationalize uh, the capabilities around um, DR and deliver that, whether you're running VMware or whether you're running AHV, um, you know, and, and leveraging what Tommy had walked us through in those protection domains, um, you know, and, and as you separate out those VMs and, and apply your RTOs and RPOs, you know, we can logically um, separate those different groups um, and, and hit the RTOs and RPOs, and as Nutanix continues to add capabilities with Flow and um, adding, adding Leap, we're able to, again, reduce those RTOs and, and RPOs and, and deliver that um, functionality to, you know, to our clients as we build our, their own private clouds and help them manage their um, Nutanix environments. Um, and really the way that, the way that we do that is, is being able to, to, to leverage our partners in, in Nutanix and Veeam. Um, it really is, we are all better together. Um, by having that web scale capability, um, you know, we can deliver the tenants of cloud um, with Veeam. Um, and their support of AHV, um, we're actually able to do, you know, file level restores and we can help our clients with their retention policies um, that are required um, based on, you know, whatever um, drivers are mandated in their industry. Um, so as, as we work together, um, you know, TBC can um, bring to the table the, our Nutanix partnership and, um, you know, as, as the largest MSP um, in the West, for Nutanix, right, we're able to leverage all of the capabilities of the people and the, and the processes that we've built around that technology to truly make that infrastructure invisible. Um, and then, again, having the experience with um, Veeam and, and, and working hand-in-hand -hand, um, with their team to, to apply the, the processes on top of these, these great technologies to really ensure that our, our, our mutual clients get the outcome that they're looking for. Um, so I want to walk you guys through a, a, an example of, of how marrying all these technologies together can, can deliver the outcome for a client. So this is one of our clients, um, Murray Companies, that uh, came to us and, and, and wanted and was distracted by the, you know, by the anchor of, of IT and the three-tier architecture and the, and the chaos associated with it. Um, you know, and through, through that partnership, we developed a, a, a private cloud footprint um, with their production data center being on a switch, all, all on AHV um, and, and leveraging Citrix and um, a lot of different capabilities to deliver the, the services that they need to their business to uh, continue to grow. Um, and, and through the native replication capabilities in Nutanix, we're able to stand up a DR site, and, and with the capabilities of uh, Veeam now supporting AHV, we're actually able to have a, an off-site copy of, the, um, of their environment to do file-level restores, to do VM-level restores, to have the retention policy that they need to, to meet their compliance drivers. And it really does deliver a holistic um, solution for our clients. Um, and the simplicity of it is, is really what makes it so beautiful. So as you can tell, we're a, um, a big believer in our, our friend Switch. They, they are, um, you know, the gold standard when it comes to uh, data centers. So um, if you think about it from a, a geographic footprint, um, you know, we partner with them to uh, be able to deliver geographic diversity um, and, and meet our clients' needs. So 
again, I, I'm sure there's people joining from all over the, the nation today. So as we think through where do we need to have your disaster recovery environment, where does your backup need to live, um, you know, here are some different locations that we could explore um, moving forward. And, you know, like, uh, like the gentleman said, uh, like Chris and Tommy said, you know, there's some free trials. We, we're also open to, uh, to having some discussions around what it would look like to host, um, you know, your, your, your Veeam DR target or your Veeam um, backup target, again, depending on what hypervisor you're using. Um, and it can, again, can walk you through some other case studies that, um, that we've done for our clients. And, um, you know, how we're helping solve our clients' problems together with our partnership in, in Veeam and Nutanix and, and how we can, um, you know, help, help deliver the right service uh, to your business units. So, again, we're, we're excited to uh, chat with everybody. Happy to uh, let you guys play in our sandbox and or um, give it 30 days and, and let you start uh, backing up and, and looking at the functionality and seeing how it works. So, um, that's it for us. I'll pass it back to our host, back to you, Obama. Um, thanks, for, thanks, everybody. All right. Thank you, Steve. Um, looks like we, uh, we'll start the Q&A right now. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them right now. And then if not, that's okay. Uh, right now we have one question from Waheed, and his question is, what is your migration tool? Would that be for Nutanix, Veeam, or TB Consulting? Um, he didn't specify, but um, it was for, he said now he's saying it's for Nutanix. Thank you. Thanks, Wahid. Cool. Um, Tommy here from Nutanix. Uh, we have a hypervisor migration tool that's native that allows you to switch from ESXi to AHV uh, pretty easily. As far as data migration, workload migration, we definitely recommend working through a partner such as TB Consulting. Um, we, we don't really have any native large-scale migration uh, tools. Uh, we would definitely encourage, again, work with our partners, uh, channel service providers. Would definitely would like to, I, I can't speak to TB Consulting's migration offerings, but I'm sure there's yeah. probably some type of solution there that'll, that'll fit. Yeah, there's a number of ways to skin that cat, as always, um, but would love to um, dive into the details if, if um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out and we can go and we can walk through a couple of different use cases and what a migration path might look like. Okay. Okay. Our next question we have here, it's a two-part question, so I'll, I'll read it and maybe I'll need to read it again. Uh, states, is there a feature, is there a feature parity between Veeam for vSphere and Veeam for HV? Are features like instant VM recovery or shared backup available for Nutanix? Again, is there feature parity between Veeam for vSphere and Veeam for AHV? Are features like instant VM recovery or shared backup available for Nutanix? Hey, this is Jake at Veeam. Um, there is there there are different features. Um, I don't have those off the top of my head on the specifics. Um, let me see here. I'll have to do some digging and get back to you. I don't want to hold this up, but um, let me do that. Let me find uh, any documentation because it is newer. So I'm going to find some documentation and I'll send that out uh, so you guys have that in front of you. Oh, we have another question. Um, the, this question says, do you have a tool similar to VMware Converter for VMs? Uh, it, so I think what he's asking about is um, the extract tool um, for Nutanix. Um, so yes, that tool does exist if, if, I'm, answer, if I'm answering the right question. That's oh. correct, yeah. Um, I haven't checked on the latest rev of Extract, the Nutanix tool. 
Typically for physical to virtual, we've again recommended working with a, a third party, a, a partner of ours uh, for services. But um, I, I have to get back to you on that as well as far as the latest version of Extract because I believe physical to virtual was on the roadmap. Um, but again, uh, something TB Consulting or another partner should be able to, to handle for you guys as well. Yep, that, that does exist and there are some gotchas. So we'll, uh, you know, the devil's always in the details. But yes, that tool does exist and we can walk through um, what's a good use case um, and what we, we may want to um, come up with alternatives for. Okay, guys, and we have one more question to be the final question. If we migrate to AMV from ESXi, will our Veeam backups continue to run or will we need to start over with a fresh full backup then incrementals? That's a good question. I don't have that either. Our engineers would. Uh, there's limited information out to the public and to the sales team, to be honest with you. Uh, but I'll get that answer along with the other one as well. Um, because it does differ, um, probably the product, and this being a plug-in, I'm just not 100%. Sorry about that. Okay, you know what, we have another question that just came in, if you guys have a we have time to answer this. Uh, this question states, I understand that Veeam Update 4 forecasted for fall 2018 will bring object storage support for VMware. Will it also bring this capability for AMD? It should have ob object level support, yeah. Yeah, and that's actually Update 4 is slated for Q1 of 2019. A little extra tidbit there. All right. Well, thank you so much to our speakers, Jake, Tommy, and Steve, for presenting here today. We appreciate your time, and I'd like to also thank the audience for joining us today. The webcast was sponsored by TV Consulting and presented by Virtualization and Cloud Review. Thanks again, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day.